mana pool. You could argue that 600 mana is a... Uh, Dendi being initiated on by Samael. Samael gonna be careful. He can still be glimpsed back. He's pretty low on life. And yep, here comes the glimpse. He triggers the fairy fire, keeps his back turned. It will actually be the kill. Snake is dropping very, very low. At the same time on the bottom lane, now they find themselves another kill. They get two cores, the save laner and the mid laner of EG. For the price of a disruptor, top net worth on the field now with the hand of Midas completed. And uh, just beating into the bristle back with the sun strike. Samael, oh, he walks into with that last attack from the Forge Spirit. Barely reached from Denny, but it will do the work. The wall is up from Snake buying the space. The ball forward. d right getting stunned up. Any other way he started out with the death was level two for a long time. Watch top lane. Boots. General, leap, chronosphere. Snake doesn't have his ult. He can still put the wall up. Inspector has no way out. With the extra help from Sunstrike, they find the kill. But Denny initiated on the mid lane, and there is more than enough damage to find the pick off. Even with this uh, Aegis, the Immortal, the chance of surviving through this, he gets the Ghost Walk leveled up. Snako brings in the extra help, and Denny, he just wants out, but the Sentry Wall is down. PPD, he's there, and a big kick coming in from Fear. Denny, where's the extra life? They just don't have enough. Denny will drop for the Chen Army. It's surrounding Universe. They're finding pick after pick, and with a glimpse back, Hope may be lost right now. Some male pulled back in the middle of Na'Vi. They bring him down. Spectre will come back to more of the living. And taking down three additional heroes of EG, and now they're just going to take another tower. Is Fear going to stop him? He's balling in. He's got magnetized available, and with a big kick, finds three from the Spectral Horn. Going to go to work. Can this be the time when Na'Vi gets punished with that glimpse? Well, you can say goodbye to Samal. He's sent back to Nako. They finish their TPs. Na'Vi are getting out this one. Scott free. Link dagger over on the faceless void. These chronosphere positions be wonderful. Looks like we've got another glimpse going on as RTZ drive back into the fight again. R Star really in position, but a steady sunstrike. They'll finish the job once again. Magna tries trying to clean up a little bit more of this fight, but the mech is just is repairing almost all the damage and fear. He's being chased down by a wild animal. Samel has to try and become this buffer between himself and the rest of the team and Na'Vi, but he just dragged back too fast. Samael, so low. Then he's picked up the VS and Samael, he's going to barely, or will he? That urn charge is sticking him out the sun. Strike Samael this time. This time he is well aware of it. Na'Vi that we saw in game three against Secret yesterday, and so far they're delivering in this game. The first one, definitely not, but second time around. Universe. You start that time dilation over on him. General wants to jump forward. He's got the Chronosphere. RTZ comes into it. They get a two-man Chrono. The kick from Fear, however, stops any from instantly following up. Peabody with his swap. He sacrifices himself for the greater, greater good. And Seneco, the controller's on RTZ. The kicks are off mark here. And will they actually find this kill? The Wolves are chasing him down and glimpse him back. Seneco wants the kill. They found it. Three down. But you do still have a lot of damage coming up from Samal. He'll finally get some revenge on the Disruptor. And Bristleback is in the middle of everything. Just firing off 10 quill sprays, mm -hmm. then maybe EG might actually win the fight. Uh, goodbye PPD, the Chrono Sphere as well from General. It catches out RTZ, they're gonna have enough damage, RTZ, yeah, he does go down. The Magnetite doesn't do anywhere near enough, uh, and Leroy is even used on Seneco. They do bring down that Disruptor finally, but what really is Samael doing? He's over on the side trying to battle up against Artstyle, not to mention the Ancient World, and he loses because Diddy Ra was right in there with him. Three heroes will drop, and Na'Vi have now got a big Big opening to go high ground and do damage to a tier three and potentially racks. Yeah, and they found a way the best lane to actually take down. So and then of course they Tijera can do this. <laughs> it's not hard to take out that range rack, but he is very isolated going in by himself with that wolf form. But it doesn't really matter because he's distracting everyone. So Mel's in the front lines trying to defend against everyone else from Navi, but now PvD has to swap RTZ back out again. He should sacrifice his own life. That sun strike and hit from Dendi. He actually found the target. The fourth through the crew sphere. And that's a huge one! Universe as well as Samal, they're going nowhere but down! Samal is on the sidelines, Universe will join him! Fear's back into the fight, but this can be it right now! Now we are all over the EG base, and good game, well played! We are going to a third deciding game for the semi-final here at Dota Pit. This is the dangerous place to be. This is when Navi gets pumped up. This is when they have a lot of confidence, and they'll actually go for the big...